Hi, this is Attorney Orange Jafari with AJ Law Practice. Last week we discussed public officials and public concerns for a defamation case and what they need to meet to be able to prove their case. This week we're going to go over private person where a matter of public concern is involved. We're going to discuss what a matter of public concern exactly means in just a minute. I know you're excited, I am too. So a matter of public concern is an issue that involves a public and it involves, it, it's going to encourage discussion, dissent, debate uh, within the community. It has to be more than just newsworthy. And it doesn't include very private things like a divorce. It affects people who don't directly participate in it. Who can be a plaintiff in this case? The person who's bringing the lawsuit. It's a private person. You, me, people like us. Who can be the defendant? It's in news media, news agencies. Those type of, types of people, those types of organizations can be the defend, defendants, the people who are defaming that private person. Because we're not dealing with the public official, people who are putting themselves in a the public eye or a public figure, this burden of proof is not as high as the other one. So in this case, the person can only can prove their case with just mere negligence. What does that mean? What an ordinary person in their circumstance and their situation would do? How do you need to prove that you've been harmed? Well, there are two things. One is that you can prove your harm based on negligence, money. How, how are you harmed? Number two, you can prove it by actual malice. Again, this person knew what they were saying was wrong and they just didn't care about it. They just said it anyways. And in that case, if the second case is proved actual malice, that they knew that their statement was false and false and they just didn't care about it, in that case, then punitive damages could arise. Punitive damages could be something that they're on the hook for. Again, next week, my friends, we're going to go over even more details about a defamatory statement and what a defamation case is. Stay tuned.